<clears throat> yes yeah good evening all so myself i'm vijay like i hold uh, 20 plus years of experience which includes nearly 10 plus years of experience in python environment so my experience includes design development and implementation of python and django based applications well versed in de implementing different python libraries like numpy cp pandas spy tables matplotlib <clears throat> So before I start, can anyone please confirm whether my voice is clear, whether the screen is visible or not? Yes. Yeah. Can anyone please confirm whether my screen is visible? Right. Fine. Thank you. So, yes, so as part of today's demo, I'll be covering the following things. Yes. So if you have got any general queries, I'll be giving time for you at the end of the session. Right. And I'll be briefing you about... Uh, that how the training is going to go at the end of the session, right? The course content, the other things, fine. So starting with the why Python. <clears throat> so already you got many programming languages. Why again Python? And the two, Python is not a kind of technology which is very recently introduced. It was introduced more than 30 years ago, right? In the year 1989, Python was introduced. Why all of a sudden Python has got a great boom? Reasons which makes it suddenly super popular. Yeah. And who can learn Python? There is no prerequisites for learning Python. Anyone can update with Python. The Python statements look like normal English statements. And also coding wise, very less coding you see in Python. Not even one fourth coding as compared with other programming languages. So I'll be I'll be briefing you that in the tomorrow session just I'll be comparing this Python code with other languages code, right? I'll take a, a task and I'll try to implement the task in multiple programming languages. First you see in other programmings and just come and check with Python. Very less code you see and they look like normal English statements, right? There is no prerequisites for learning Python. So everything, what are the things required? Everything I'll be discussing as part of this course from that basic ground level to the advanced level, right? And how Python was built, how Python was built and how Python was derived. By taking the features and advantages from multiple programming languages in a simple way, has taken some features from one programming, some other features from other programming, in this way, from multiple programming languages, it has taken the features it was built. So, Python real-time applications. What? So, before you update with the technology, you need to know what kind of applications we can develop by using Python. Python mostly used for developing what kind of applications today in the market. Python usage. Who are using Python currently, which companies are using Python and top most applications which are built using Python. Python features as compared with other programming means what are the additional features, new features you see in Python which you won't see in other programming and the comparison of Python with other programming coding wise, length wise and complexity wise we can check how simple the Python statements. <clears throat> and reasons why python is suddenly super popular python scope and job market what is the current job market of python and what is the scope of python in the coming years that everything so these things i'll be discussing in today and tomorrow session right this all these topics whatever i say right so starting with the why python starting with why python right i can call python is a general purpose programming it is a general purpose programming so to understand this what is general purpose before python there were some programming languages if you heard about the names of this uh, like uh, <clears throat> pascal fortran cobol these are the languages available these languages are purpose based these are used for a specific purpose, purpose-based 
Pascal for complicated mathematical applications, Potron for scientific applications, Cobol for business applications. Means they are used they are used for a particular purpose, not for all the purpose. But Python is not for a particular purpose. A language which is suitable for developing any kind of application, such a language we call it as general purpose programming. So Python is such a kind of programming where any kind of applications we can develop today, right? Like web applications, automation applications, gaming applications, GUI graphical applications, embedded applications, networking applications. So any kind of applications we can develop today by using Python. So it is not for a particular purpose. It is not purpose-based. It is not for a particular purpose. Okay. Python is a general purpose programming. Any kind of applications we can develop by using Python. It is not for a particular purpose, I said, right? Later I discuss in that what are the different types of applications. Any kind of applications we can develop using Python. Multi-programming features. Python has got multi-programming features. What all the programming languages? What all the features we see in different other programming languages? All the features you are going to see in Python. All programming features you see in Python. Procedural oriented, object oriented, scripting, modular programming, all the features. High level language. Python is a high level language. So there are two types of languages. Yes. Two types of languages. Generally, we've got like low level languages, we say high level languages. Low level and high level languages. Low level languages, example like machine level language or assembly level language, we say. Assembly level or machine level languages. These languages. First thing, they are not human understandable. They are not human understandable. And they cannot be carried from one system to another system. They are not portable. Mm. And that too, they cannot run on all the hardware and all the operating system. They are machine dependent. Right? But Python is a high level language python is a high level language right it's easily understandable human understandable right it's a portable it can be carried from system to system and it is machine independent it can run on all the hardware and all the operating system human understandable it's portable and machine independent a platform independent or machine independent right can run on any platform, any hardware, and any operating system. We punch right. This is what uh, Python plus full stack. Beyond that, we'll be going. So not only like uh, one framework, multiple frameworks I'll be discussing, right? So as part of this, right, not only like Python, when you go for full stack, not only just ja particular framework, one more framework I'll be providing freely for the students, right? That is Flask framework. Okay. So, yes, two types of languages, low level and high level. Python is a high level, human understandable, portable and machine independent. Yes. Next interpreted language interpreted language means see here also we've got two categories here you also we can see two categories right yes mm -hmm. 
we have got two categories like the compilation languages, compilation and interpretation. Compilation interpretation. Compilation means, for example, if you have example of compilation, C language. Interpretation example, Python. If you have got some 10 lines of code, if you have got some lines of code, assume you have got some 10 lines of code. In the compilation, all the 10 statements executes at once. All the 10 statements will be executed even though you got errors. Later, it will display the errors, right? Later, okay. Display the errors if you got. In Python, interpretation, line by line execution, you are going to see. Statement by statement, you are going to execute which makes debugging easy. This is entire code at once it executes, it executes by statement by statement. So Python is a interpreted language and it's a user-friendly programming language or programmer-friendly programming language, right? Which provides simple syntaxes, which looks like normal English statements. So it's a general purpose, any kind of applications, multi-programming features it has got, High level, easily understandable, portable, and machine independent can run on all the odd ways, all the operating system. Interpreted line by line execution and programmer friendly or user friendly, right? Yes. So, just uh, so Python has got what features? Means what programming features? So, just I'll be using some technical terms or words here. Not a worry, just everything I'll be briefing you as part of our course. Python has got a procedural oriented programming, procedural that's got procedural oriented programming features. Example like C language. It has got the features of procedural oriented programming. It has also got the features of object oriented programming. It has got the features of object oriented programming features. Object oriented programming like the C++ Java. It has also got, Python has also got the features of scripting. Python has got the features of scripting like Linux shell script. Shell script, we can write many automation scripts using Python today in IoT, in DevOps, robotics, and uh, one more modular programming features. Python has got modular programming features. These features you won't see in other programming language except one modular three is one so because of this multiple programming features okay python we call python as a hybrid yes useful in devops environment so even for aws devops there is a python module available boto 3 module right fine so here procedural oriented programming so like just like C language, just like C++, like Java, like Shell Script, like Modular 3, you can develop different varieties of application. Once again, I say for learning Python, don't think you need to have the knowledge on C or C++ or all this. We have got all those properties in Python, I'm saying. All those properties in Python. Fine, right? So, um, two major programming languages which are used for enterprise applications creations, which are used for enterprise applications creations today, right? Python and Java are the two major programming languages mostly used today. But Java developers, programmers are developers are strictly restricted to use only object-oriented programming. Without object-oriented programming, they cannot write a Java application or a program, right? 
So compulsory object oriented programming class and objects, everything within the class. But in Python, with object oriented, without object oriented, with procedural oriented, with modular programming, you can write different varieties of applications. We can write different varieties of Okay, and uh, scripting, we can write many automation scripts using Python, right? In uh, robotics, in IoT, in this DevOps environment, right? Python has got many, Python has got many libraries. It has got vast libraries, right? And uh, today Python has got a great boom because of this modular programming. Today, Python has got a great boom because of this. It is providing modules. Python is providing many inbuilt predefined modules. Nearly 89,300 inbuilt modules Python is providing for different environment. Whatever environment you are from, Python is providing a module for that. For networking, for testing, for data science, for big data, for databases, for everything Python is providing a module. Not only for computer applications, for electronics, for civil environment also, Python is providing modules. Modules within that we have got built-in functions using which we can perform the operations in a simpler manner, right? So if I talk about this, uh, just modules, right? If I talk about these modules, right? For data science, it has got separate modules. As, Python is providing separate model for data science. Separate modules. Nearly like 10 to 15 modules Python is providing for data science like NumPy, CP, Pandas, Matplotlib, CP, Skik. In this way, many modules for data science and environment Python is providing. Yes. So Python is the prerequisite for data science right total implementation goes in python for this data science which is the talk of the industry and of course one more major area right right like even for big data environment uh, even for big data environment right so like uh we have got separate models or packages python is providing like PySpark, uh, and even for networking environment uh, for networking applications or network programming python is providing separate uh, modules are a separate framework itself is given for networking right twisted python right and apart from this even for uh, testing or for test cases right this way separate models python is providing and even for operating system kinds of activities oh yes the name of the model itself is OS operating system kinds of activities for creating directory, for removing directory, for listing out what is present in a particular directory. Yes, for all this. And for each and every database, Python is providing a module. If you so got uh, Oracle, right? For Oracle, separate module Python is providing CX underscore Oracle. What is that? CX underscore Oracle is the Python module for Python to connect with the Oracle database. And it's very simple in just uh, like uh, one or two statements, just you can connect with Python. So Python can connect with database. Not like other programming languages, you need to have a lot of uh, knowledge to connect with the databases. Not only Oracle, for any database like MySQL, it has got PyMySQL. <coughs> Excuse me. One second. But every database I said, even for SQL server, server, right, it is providing a separate module, right? Pi ODBC, Pi ODBC, right? In this way. And not only for, the, okay, for every database, not only for these databases. Even for each and every file for Excel files, 
So just by writing Python code, just by writing Python code, right? And executing the Python code, we can create an Excel workbook. Excel file can be created. Just by adding two more statements, right? Just I can create sheets within the Excel file. I can write data into Excel. I can read data from Excel by writing Python code. We have got separate modules like Excel RD, Excel SX Writer. And uh, not only for this Excel files, comma, separated values files, for JSON files, JavaScript object notation files, for XML files, separate uh, modules Python is providing even for PDF, just by writing Python code generating PDF files. And not only this, just uh, mathematical operations, we have got separate module like uh, math. See, very simple. One example, if I say about this module, if I just want to find square root, no need to perform and you need to, no need to write the code. Just import math module. There is a model math just now I was talking about. Within the math, there is a functionality called square root. Within the square root, okay, just provide any value, right? 16 I want. Yes, math dot square, that's it. It provides the output. What is that for? Import that to any module. In that way, you've got many built-in functionalities. You may ask, how will you know about that functionalities? Means we have got some functions. Python has got a help function. Python is providing help function to help you with the syntaxes. And we, if you want to see the directory, we have got a DIR function is available. You can check it. And if you want to get help on a particular functionality, help function Python has got to help you with that syntax. So no need to write huge codes with this. Uh, modules right like for mathematical operations even for statistical operations for statistics right python has got modules for generating graphs in python especially for generating graphs python has got uh, separate modules like for plotting matplotlib model right any types of graphs we can generate by using python with, with less number of code Normal graphs, bar graphs, histogram, scatter plot, stack plots, bar graph, pie graphs, any types of graphs. Just in the tomorrow session, just I'll show you with the two, three lines how we generate different types of graphs. Just in the tomorrow session, just I'll be showing you some code examples, some code snippets of Python, how simple it looks like. Just like normal English statements generating these graphs and this, right? In this way, thousands of modules Python is providing. 89,300 modules, right? Just I'll take five minutes for uh, just saying about the applications of this Python means uh, before you update uh, where exactly this Python is used today. Python real-time applications. See today like Python mostly used in creation of web applications. You may immediately you may ask, uh, from the last 20, 25 years, saying frankly, right? Python, not Python. Java and .NET are mostly used. <clears throat> Java and .NET are mostly used for creation of web application from last 20, 25 years. Why again Python required today? Means Python, it has got a framework like a Django framework, the Django framework, right? It's a framework of Python. At a rapid speed, you can develop a web application. That too, with very less code. And that too, it has got some uh, features, excellent features. It has got flexible features, you can say. It has got its own database also, like SQLite database. It has got its own application servers. Many flexible features it is providing. Nearly 50% of the code, it will be generated by itself. And what all the PY files, Python files required for your project, everything is created by itself. That is the flexible features it is providing. The rapid speed you can develop web application. That is the advantage you see today in creation of web applications. So people who choose for Python full stack. So design applications, creations, right? Multiple applications will be discussing, right? Fine. Secondly, Python mostly used today in creation of automation applications. Lot of automation applications are getting created today. Using technologies like uh, data, using technologies like uh, data science, using technologies like data science, using technologies like IoT, right? 
devops talk about this iot internet of things it is a physical network or device embedded with software sensors and electronics for collecting data exchanging data and controlling the things from the place where we are right so simply we can say electronic devices connecting and communicating with each other so here 90 percent of the coding we see we write in python even in data science right everything deals with the data data has got experience data has got future reference using data or data science we perform data analysis data prediction data classification data clustering data recommendation it's a blend of technique it's a blend of technique the main technique what we see here ml machine learning right machine learning we have got many techniques uh, regression classification clustering recommendations for all these techniques to implement you require a language so to code you require a language so python is the mostly chosen mostly used programming for implementing all this uh, machine learning deep learning right this data science environment <clears throat> Even in DevOps environment, to write some automation scripts, right? Python is the mostly chosen. It is <clears throat> best scripting language with vast varieties of libraries, right? And about, apart from that, one more major area where like in big data environment, right? Where Python is mostly chosen, where big data, like huge data beyond like uh, today, if you see, not only like GBs or TBs, beyond that petabytes of data is getting generated. So to handle that huge data, we have got some big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. Heard about this Hadoop and Spark, right? But especially Spark, a very high speed processing technology, right? So it uses uh, implementation goes in Python, coding goes in Python, right? So we call it like PySpark, Spark with Python implementation, right? And apart from that, uh, where are the other areas like uh, Python mostly used in uh, scientific applications. For scientific applications, Python is providing a separate module, CP. CP means scientific Python, not only for this, uh, even for numerical analysis, uh, for numerical analysis, right? Python has got a separate module, NumPy. It's one of the important module library of Python, NumPy. NumPy we say, right? Apart from this, even for graphical graphical applications, GUI, graphical user interface, or for animations, right? We have got Python has got separate modules. So, TK Inter is the one, PyQt is some. So, in this way, we have got separate models for every environment. And even for game or game development, for gaming or for game development, right? For game development, Python has got. For a single user, multi user online games. Today, Python is mostly used or chosen for developing a lot of games, especially for developing games in Py Python. Python has got a framework called PyGame. What is PyGame? Framework given by Python for developing games. Even one more framework it is given, like PyCora. And for 3D games, for 3D rendering libraries, Python has given one PySoy, right? Yes, for 3D games. And even for scheduling task, scheduling task, right? Python is providing airflow. And for testing or for test cases, right? Python has got many modules for that. And uh, for uh, software, even Python for software development, uh, for software development, even uh, software developers make use of Python as a support language. And for business applications, Python is for business. For business applications, Python is one of the best choice, right? For developing e-commerce websites and one of the hottest application of Python, like database application, right? So every web application, right? Developing an web application requires database. Without database, there is no application, right? So Python can connect with any database and can connect with any database like Oracle, MySQL, DB2, SQL Server, Postgres, all this, right? And also for networking, uh, for networking applications, for network programming. 
applications, right? Python has got separate framework like the Twisted Python is providing separate framework like Twisted Python. And apart from this, uh, even for web scrapping, web scrapping, right? For scrapping the data from web scrapping, for scrapping data from different websites. For extracting data, like, okay. Apart from this, Python is also used for <clears throat> embedded applications, embedded. Embedded applications. The most famous embedded application like Raspberry Pi, which uses Python for its computation, right? Even for audio and video applications. Audio and video, lot of audios and video applications are developed today by using Python. So as part of this course, uh, people who choose Python full stack. So some audio video applications also, I'm going to show you how to develop them. And apart from this, uh, for other environments like the CAD, 3D CAD applications, right? Python modules are provided. And uh, for computer vision, for face detection, collect detection and object detection right for doing this kind of applications computer vision like python has got modules for it and for data analysis uh, providing modules for this and uh, for robotics uh, and for desktop applications desktop applications are single user applications console applications right yes <clears throat> Desktop applications, right? Yes, for console, yeah. single user application. In this way, many applications are there where Python is used today. So these are the mostly used applications, mostly used in data science, in big data, in automation, in web applications, right? In gaming applications, these are the wide varieties of applications. <clears throat> you ask, uh, which companies are using Python? Means who are using Python today? Who are using Python today? Top most applications built using Python, built using Python right? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I'll take five minutes more before I go with this uh, training levels. <clears throat> Top most applications built using Python. Google is one of the best example of Python web application. The Google web crawling it's first written in Java. It was too difficult. It was rewritten in Python. Yahoo using Python. YouTube using Python for its video sharing service. Uber, Uber pricing algorithm. Uber pricing algorithm is implemented using Python. Uber pricing algorithm implemented using Python and machine learning. And uh, Instagram. The prime reason for Instagram to choose Python, Python practicality hybrid features. NASA is using Python for its research and development activities because of Python multi-programming features. Other applications which are built using Python like Quora or Reddit, Pinterest, Dropbox, The popular OTT platform like Netflix is using Python for its security automation and for subscription related things, right? Netflix. Yes. And MMOG, massively multiplayer online games, right? And uh, Maya, a powerful 3D animation which uses Python script. <clears throat> iRobot for military and commercial operations. BitTorrent using Python. And uh, companies like IBM, Seagate, Qualcomm, all this, they use Python for hardware testing purpose. Many of these companies, right? So these are the top most applications or the companies using Python. In this way, many are there. 
and finally <clears throat> from the discussion what we had reasons uh, reasons which makes uh, python reasons which makes uh, python suddenly super popular reasons which makes python suddenly super popular suddenly super popular means first thing is most of the programmers or developers are attracted towards python migrating towards python because of its very less code that is one and also the two simple syntaxes given by python simple syntaxes which looks like normal english statements and uh, one more important feature interactive mode given by python you can easily interact with python statement by statement for every statement it gives a response for example in the bottom search panel if I type cmd and go to this command prompt, observe here, if I type python, if python is already installed, if I say python, python version will be displayed, python interpreter, three arrow symbols you can see. Here you can type any valid python statements, any valid python statements, 5 plus 3 I am saying, 13 into 7. So, x equal to 10, y equal to 4. See, I no need to define the data types also in Python. What is x? What is y? What is x plus y? x minus y? x into y? x by y? Any valid statements. You can interact uh, x into 2, 10 into 2, x to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 2, 100. x equal to hello, h e l l o. x into 3 prints hello for 3 times x into 5 prints all over 5 times so quit it will come out of this right so in this way you can uh, interact with python so the statements look like normal statements no need to define the types also here that is interactive mode given by python right just now i discussed that multi programming features it has got multi programming features and also I discussed like wide varieties of applications we can create, wide varieties of applications, wide varieties of applications I can create. And many built-in, many built-in, right? Many built-in libraries. 89,000, 89,300 inbuilt modules Python is providing from different environments, right? So these are the reasons which makes Python suddenly super popular. And that too, today Python is the mostly used to choose in programming language, number one ranked programming language in the today's industry, right? So just uh, I'll show you, right? I'll open Google and show you the mostly used to programming language today, the number one ranked programming language today, right? Check this. Just I'm opening Google, right? Yes, Chrome browser, right? So just say popular coding language right so can you see some popular coding language includes python easy to read with a large community of users lots of open source libraries for data science other things right most okay can you see just i said popular coding language immediately python right so just you can see a lot of other so you can see the most popular programming language python stands first it is most popular coding language Python stands first here. Yes. Most popular programming language used by top 25 unicorns. Python, Java, JavaScript, right? Okay, Python, the most popular programming languages this way most popular programming languages here most in demand programming language 2022 okay. python java other things
ओके फाइन मोस्ट इन डिमांड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ऑफ 2021-22 पाइथन जावा जावा स्क्रिप्ट यस now check this most okay mm. what programming language should you learn python javascript even javascript is also part of our course for full stack check these things python is the mostly used Python, Java, JavaScript, the other things like this. Yes. Top 10 programming languages. Top 10 programming languages for the beginners to learn Python, all these like this. Emerging programming languages by popularity. Python, Java, JavaScript, right? And if you see the ranking wise, Python is the number one rank. Can you see rank one? Two Java, three JavaScript in this way. The ranks are given. See that ranks here. Python language rank one. Next comes the uh, other programming languages. Yes. And number of top uh, 39 computer science departments that use language to teach introductory courses. Python, next comes Java and the other things. Yes. Check this uh, programming language, right? Python, next comes Java, next comes JavaScript, right? 2023-24, number one rank. 2023, April 23, April 2024, Python, right? So check this. Next, observe this uh, mostly used programming. See this uh, graph. 31% Python, Java 19%, C++ 9%, C 6%, even job, even if we talk about this average salaries for Python, ranking based on average salary, Python stands first, JavaScript next, ranking by job openings, Python first, and this, see this time, open, I'm just showing you in Google, right, this is everything in the Google, and if you check, right, jobs for Python, just, just Google and check Python jobs, Python jobs, right? Yes. Lot of jobs for Python. Check this. Python developer jobs. Scroll down, scroll down, right? 1,62,294 Python openings. Right? About not only like Python, people, uh, even framework like Django framework, people might be knowing Python, but uh, people who has knowledge on framework like Django are very less, very, very less. And that two command on this uh, Django framework are very less. Even you can search for Django jobs here. The Django jobs, right? You can just check this lot of jobs for Python, the Django developer, right? You can just check it. Uh, jobs 12,000 plus the Django developer jobs. Yes. So what is the course content I'm going to discuss as part of this course, right? Check this. So from the basic to the advanced level, right? So Python. Python basics, what is Python, why Python, history, applications, features, advantages, versions of Python, installations of Python, flavors of Python, compassion with other programmings, Python operations, modes of execution, more Python editors, IDs, data types, constants, Python variables, comments in Python, type conversions, comments in Python, escape sequences, strings, operators in Python, like automatic logical assignment, bitwise membership. Python IDs, different types of Python IDs, right? Like uh, Anaconda distributions, PyCharm, Jupyter, Spider, Eclipse, not on a single ID. I'll be showing you on multiple IDs, right? Flow control statements, looping statements, strings in Python, string indexing, string slicing, string concatenation, comparison, splitting, collections in Python, list tuple sets, dictionaries, list properties, List creation, list indexing, list functions, list methods, list addresses, 
nested list, list modification, similarly for tuples, sets, dictionaries in Python, and functions in Python, categories of functions, their argument type, default, non-default, keyword, non-keyword, uh, arbitrary arguments, different types of functions like lambda function, reduce function, map function, filter function, zip function, right? And modules in Python, different uh, ways of importing, renaming, reloading a module. Yes, from import, normal import, package in Python, errors and exceptions in Python. Uh, file handling, right? Reading data from a file, writing data to a file, writing to different files, Excel files, CSV, JSON, right? Object-oriented concepts in brief. Just I kept that headings here, right? But in brief, like abstraction, encapsulation, static, non-static, constructors, destructors, garbage collector, Method overriding, types of inheritance, right? It's polymorphism, overriding, regular expressions, different types of modules related to different environments. So I'm going to show you different types of models, some models related to data science, some related to big data, some related to operating system, some related to this uh, database, some related to graphics. So for like regular expression module, database connectivity, I'll be showing you the installation of one database and connecting with the database and performing different operations. Python data and time module, OS operating system module, right? Advanced concepts, right? Like uh, iterator, generator, closers, decorators, web scrapping, working with CSV, XML, JSON files, debugging in Python, right? GUI programming, right? Uh, different uh, graphical components creations. Excel workbook, creating Excel workbook, reading, writing data and creating multiple Excel sheets. Data analytics, like uh, different important libraries of Python, like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, reduction to this data science, and this Pandas model in brief, it's an important library of Python. NumPy model in brief, one more important, uh, NumPy, NumPy arrays, and Matplotlib plotting and visualization. This last three, you see, this is the important libraries, right, where I'm going to cover. If you know this Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib, there are jobs available only on these three modules. If you observe jobs on Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib, you can check a lot of jobs for Python with these things. And this is this 30 topics for Python core and advanced I'm going to discuss in brief, right? Nearly 70 hours I'm going to spend for this Python, this, these things, right? These 30 topics. And uh, apart from this, uh, you, people who go for Python full stack, uh, means like python framework django framework for web, web application creations right this um, web frameworks the django installation the django project architecture the django application creations views templates the django admin its models advanced concepts ua technologies also will be discussed if it doesn't have knowledge on this html in brief css in brief javascript in brief and one database like mysql right just two minutes. <clears throat> so first is like Python. So here Python in this Python, Python core and Python advanced both will be discussed. Yes, uh, people from uh, data engineering means people who are from Hadoop package, right? You can attend this Python core and Python advanced, right? Uh, like uh, nearly 70 hours I'll be spending on this. Uh, so it took, okay, 70 hours around uh, like two to end of months it will be taking for this. It takes nearly two to end of months for this plus apart from this uh, people who wants to go for python full stack uh, first you'll be given knowledge on this uh, ui technologies ui technologies right ui technologies web development right like uh, html you'll be given knowledge on this html css JavaScript part of Bootstrap. 
Mm. Apart from this, uh, you'll be given knowledge on this uh, framework, Django framework, correct? One important framework of Python, Django framework. So in this, uh, you'll be developing different types of applications, right? Nearly 15 to 20. Applications development, right? And apart from this, one more, one more framework I'm going to discuss for these people, for the full stack, really, right? Um, Flask framework, one more important framework that is also used in this industry, framework. And apart from that, okay, UI technologies, Django framework, Flask framework, MySQL database, and project. So for these topics from two to six, it also takes nearly 70 hours for that. I'll be spending 70 hours for this. It also takes two to end of months for this. So here, Python plus frameworks. Nearly 140 hours. So it will require 70 hours for it. Around 70 hours, I'm saying. Plus frameworks also nearly around 70 hours for this. Totally 140 hours, right? Yes. So if, if this is the fee structure for this. Uh, fee structure for this is 6,000, right? For this Python core and advanced, like the 70 hours, the fee structure is 6,000. And these two topics from uh, 2 to 6, uh, it's uh, 7K actually. But uh, a Python 6K plus it's from 7K, 13K. But if you're taking the entire package, full stack package, the single payment, it is 12K. So, yes. Timing of this batch, it is 9 p.m. IST, regularly, daily for one hour, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. IST. And uh, the offerings, uh, what I'm going to provide, right? You will be getting uh, live session recordings, uh, live session videos, right? You're going to get the videos of each and every session. If you miss any session, right? live session videos each and every session of all this 140 hours and a uh, soft copy of the copy, soft copy of the class notes each and every clear soft copy of the class notes and this uh, assignments and tasks to work with so based on that you are going to get command on this programming and tasks for working and a WhatsApp group will be created for technical discussion or if you get any error, you can take the snap of it and post in that. So WhatsApp. And uh, 300 plus code examples. Code examples will be discussed as part of this course. And uh, Interview questions. <coughs> yes. Yes. So this is what, and uh, there is one more. Uh, I also deal with the data engineering like big data. There is one big data package available, right? If anybody would prefer it. In that, the total Python will be covered, means. Uh, Total Python means Python Core and Advanced, which includes Hadoop, Total PySpark, Spark with Python implementation, right? Linux,
Python. This Python two months. For an advanced. So this you will be attending in the normal days from Monday to Friday. <coughs> Any of my session means this current session which you are attending, you can attend. And this Hadoop PySpark, this Linux is a weekend batch. In weekend, you will be having on Saturdays and Sundays. Nearly for 12 weekends, it will be nearly like two, three months. 12 weekends it will be right on Saturdays and Sundays. 15K is that right. The fee structure for this. Uh, for attending the demo for if you have got enrolled in this package, you can attend both Python and Hadoop, right? When Hadoop is going in this weekend, you will be updated with Python. By the time Hadoop completes, your Python core completes. By the time you go to PySpark, <coughs> you will be having knowledge on this Python core, right? Yes. So you can see in the chart, there is a big uh, a message given. So Mohammed Tarif, right? Live video session is valid for how many months? Any course in Durga Soft, right? If you are taking valid for six months. Later, if you want to extend it, you need to discuss with them, right? And so, can we get that recorded lecture? Yes, Sujit Kumar. Yes, you'll be getting the recorded. It's only you can play that it is not downloadable, right? Yes, Anil. Yes, the session timing will be 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. There won't be any change in that. Yes, Deepanshu, right? Many extra sessions will be taken if you're running out of time, right? Right. Full stack for C, if you can see a big uh, a message is given by the online team. Uh, Python full stack course content, uh, normal Python core and one course content, the payment details, and this uh, contact details. Contact details are provided, right? If you have got any queries to contact them. So tomorrow also, if people can attend all classes on Zoom only, right? Yes. Deepak Kumar, right? All classes. Yes. Yes. Recorded lectures with, okay, multiple sessions in it. Deepan Sugar, just every day, one, every, every day, one hour, right? But anybody who wants to see if you want to go, if you want to, four months or more than that, if you are unable to spare that much of for four months of time, right? People, Monday to Friday, you will be attending Python. Saturdays and Sundays, many batches are there for the framework batches are there for these things. For all this UI technologies, design for all this. Means immediately Python, these things doesn't require any Python knowledge. Here you will be updated with Python from Monday to Friday. Here you will be updating with this UI technologies. By the time Python core completes, your UI technologies gets completed. And uh, by the time Python advanced starts, the Django framework is going to run parallelly. Within two to end of months, you can complete it if you go parallelly. Otherwise, one after the other, you can go. And once you get enrolled, you can attend any of my Python or this Django batches, right? Even if you have got any break in the middle, if you can pre-intimate and you can attend any of my other batch. If you got any change in that uh, shift, if your shift got changed, today you are attending this, but after one month, your shift got changed, right? To morning. So you can just attend my morning batch itself. If you are unable to attend in the evening, right? You need to pre intimate. So yes, Anilen, if you want to combine Hadoop package and Python full stack package, both if you want to combine, right? So here 15,000 is the Hadoop package plus Python package, just to 5,000 extra for that. Both big data package and Python package, both will be getting. Just to this, you need to add 5,000. That's it. If we want both, right? And talk with the online team accordingly. Yes. Means you'll be getting all these frameworks. Apart from this, uh, I had big data package. You'll be getting all this plus framework, the Django framework, UI technologies, right? Yes. So now you can go with your queries, right? You can unmute yourself. You can ask your queries through why. Uh, all the sessions will be interactive sessions. By each and every statement I type, you will be responding what is the output you are going to get. 
So at any point of time, you can ask the queries through voice or through chat. Yes, any other queries, right? Yes. See, today is that uh, Deepak Kumar, right? Sujit Kumar, though there won't be any change in the time, the same timings. If there is any change, definitely I'll be intimating before itself, right? No change. If it will be up to the end of the course, it will be the same timing, 9 p.m., right? Yes. When Deepak Kumar, when will we just start of the course? Today is the session one. Tomorrow, session two. Day after tomorrow, session three, session four, session five. It continues. Again, these things won't be repeated, right? Course certificate is provided. Yes. You will be getting from the Durga Soft, right? For those, right? Sri Divya. Yes. Course certificate will be provided. Yes, and uh, session videos you'll be getting right. Your Google Drive notes to your you'll be getting notes to your uh, mail IDs, and a WhatsApp group will be created. So today, tomorrow, next uh, two three days, you can attend the session to see the training levels. Right. Tomorrow you can attend. Day after tomorrow, next three days you can attend the sessions. Everyone to see the training sessions. Right. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow we have got a no, class. Yes. So how many days you have this demo classes going on? Only for three days? Today, including today, next three days. First okay, days. from... First four days you can attend, including today. Okay. So after that, if we pay, then we can start uh, the yeah, regular... The, the, link will, the link will be changing. You will be getting that link. Uh, who got enrolled, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, to actually uh, do this data science, do we have to uh, do know this Python coding to become a data science engineer? Because I was an Oracle DBA. So, uh, for, and the coding is for the first time I'm learning. For data scientist, for data engineer, for data analyst, oh. for all these things, Python is the prerequisite. You okay. want to become for data science course or for data analyst course or data engineer course, right? Python is mm -hmm. the prerequisite. Especially for data science, right? Mm -hmm. So all these uh, Python libraries are there. Some NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. There are many libraries provided for data science and we don't. So Python is the prerequisite. Mm -hmm. We need to have the complete total coding implementation goes in Python within this data science. Okay. okay. Actually, this is a normal confusion I got because I was an Oracle DBA mm -hmm. and I want to uh, like switch my career that is the main thing so can i switch into like python coding like the programmer the developer or can i go into the data engineer side so which is the better sir it's just a, a you know well, suggestion kind of a thing first thing they are okay i'll i'll just uh, one second there are two categories of people who learn python Okay. There are two categories of Python who learns Python. The first category of Python is okay. Python core and advanced. I'm talking. The first category of Python who updates Python is people okay, who wants to go for data science, like a data engineering, like a big data, Hadoop, PySpark, or even like a, a Azure Databricks. Spark, Spark with Python, and uh, people who want even uh, for the scripting, like the writing automation scripts in DevOps environment, even like mm -hmm. IoT, IoT writing scripts in robotics, robotics with Python, right? Like mm -hmm. huge packages you have got more than forty lakhs, if you have got. Okay. So these categories, right? These people in this way, many are there today. Python is mostly used in different high end technologies, right? So these people, their career won't be in Python. Their okay, career okay. won't be in Python. Their career will be in data science as a data engineer, PySpark developer, or DevOps, IoT in this. But total implementation coding goes in Python language. For that, they need to have okay. the knowledge on Python. Second category of people who wants to have who wants to have career in Python itself as a Python developer, Python full okay. stack developer, right? Compulsory, they need to have the knowledge on these frameworks at like Django framework. Right. Okay. Okay. Got it, sir. So, so this... I will take Python core and uh, uh, the advanced then. 
so and uh, after learning python if you want to become a python developer you can need to go for this if you want to go for data after updating with python either you want to you need to go for this for this even people who are in this mtech level or btech level in that final year projects they'll be doing the data mm -hmm. science in python projects or this Django projects ml machine okay. like using python python is that coding and uh, the domain will be this data science or this data big data or this uh, the Django related projects, right? Yes. Do you have any other courses, sir, with this Python and data science or any okay. separate course in this? And do you have like both together here in Durgasoft, like Python and data science together? Python and data oh, no. science, uh, no. Uh, okay. They'll give overview about this uh, Python just for one week like that. Okay. okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. For data okay. engineering, you, sir. for big data, it is available. Mm -hmm. Python, total Python, you'll be getting. And this is data for data engineering. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sir. Thank you. Okay. Any other queries, right? Anyone? Fine. We'll continue tomorrow. More discussion. It's not like uh, it will be the continuation of today's session, correct? So if I'm done with the queries, if there are no other queries, I will sign off for now. Meet you tomorrow, right? Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Good night.